What's going on guys, my name is Suti and welcome to my first FIFA 17 defending tutorial. My defending is my biggest weapon every single year, opened 44 goals per match on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team, opened 40 goals per match conceded on FIFA 15 head to head and even better, opened 38 goals per match conceded last year on FIFA 16 head to head. If you can see that few goals, winning is gonna become easy and this year I'm gonna share my secrets with you again. I've showed you last year some advanced methods like overplaying sides, extreme pressure and more. But I noticed in my personal lessons that most of you, even Division 1 players don't get the most important stuff right and therefore this tutorial is gonna be about the most important things in the fanding. Let's go guys! For an amazing FIFA 17 squad, link is in the description for cheap and safe coins. And do you wanna play against me? Get a gameplay analysis for personal FIFA lessons, link is also in the description. Let's start with one of the most important things in the fanning, which is tracking runs. In order to track runs, you need to switch players with the right analog stick. That may be a new thing for some of you, but let's watch again in the replay how to do it with the live controller. Use the right analog stick, flick it to the left, you're gonna select Pepe and you're gonna be able to track his run. So if you see a striker making a run you are gonna definitely have to track that run yourself and also especially notice on the fullbacks fullbacks very uh, rarely track runs but the striker is always the main priority but also definitely take into account you're gonna want to track runs with fullbacks now using midfielders the main thing is we want to leave our back four in position we're gonna want to leave them where they are and therefore we also do not even press the r1 button we want to leave our back four right where they are and we're gonna use midfielders instead to defend so don't press the r1 or the rb button for second man press that will make them step out anyway so you're not gonna select the defenders the goal of that is to leave the back four where they are leave them organize the back four defend with the midfielders select them all the time run back with the midfielders defend with them and also don't press the r1 button if your opponent is doing a counter attack don't press it leave the back four where they are leave them in position and just track back with the midfielder defend with them and also don't select the fullback in situations like this leave the fullback where he is in general please don't select your back four try to fix the situations with your uh, midfielders first now the most important thing in defending using jockey movement not once or twice or maybe three times in a match no every single time you need to use jockey movement we just sprint but once we get close we're gonna hold the l2 or lt button to jockey we sprint now but once you get close you need to hold the l2 or lt button to jockey position over attacking the ball well this is gonna be a big section guys because i know a lot of you get this wrong we can't track the player anymore with the midfielder we try to defend with the midfielder as i said to you but then we see we need to track runs but we're not gonna we're gonna keep that in position don't attack the ball staying in position is more important than uh, getting the ball and this we're gonna see that again in the replay with a little bit of slow-mo i can show you better what i was talking about let's see that again right now in the replay we defend with the midfielders of course but we are not gonna to keep sprinting we are not gonna attack the ball once we get close we slow down of course we use jockey movement when close but we're not attacking the ball it's more important to stay in position so what is the right position well the right position is always diagonally between the goal and on the center always defend the center and always defend the way to the goal here again the position is more important than getting the ball back we do not want to get beaten position is so important we of course we need to use jockey when he's close but we are even gonna jockey backwards we cannot get beaten here we do not want the ball in that uh, situation look at that it isn't even dangerous anymore but you're not gonna try to take the ball we just use jockey movement and we're gonna stay in position and one or three seconds later everything is fixed and I know a lot of you will attack the ball here I just go back into position and everything is gonna get fixed so don't think about the ball all the time jockey backwards just jockey backwards don't even try to take the ball and this is an advanced uh, step here i'm gonna show you what i did here in another defending tutorial a more advanced one one of the other most important things in defending is to try and block the passes we need to start thinking ahead 
and therefore what a lot of you would do is probably go to the ball but if we think one step ahead and actually block the pass then we can intercept a lot of the passes indeed we can pressure opponents if we do this and thinking ahead is key but blocking passes is one of the main things of thinking ahead actually we're not gonna sprint to the ball we are gonna try to block the passing lane and again we succeed and if we intercept passes on that place on the pitch we can very often score easy goals as well and here we intercepted the pass he got it back a little bit luckily but right after that again block the passing lane don't only think about the ball think ahead block the passes you're gonna get the ball back very easily and as said already if you get the ball back on that place of the pitch you can score easy goals now the most important things probably thinking ahead is the main thing in defending but thinking ahead is a lot of things and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a lot of examples of what you can do you need to think who is he gonna pass to and before he even gets the ball we already move to him this is not blocking passes this is just thinking to who is that guy gonna pass next and this is just one of the nicer goals I scored so far in the demo against my mate who's also a division one player we use the drag back we use the scoop turn ground cross there as well and a pretty nice passing too but right now you need to think ahead before he had that ball we already move to the player to who I think he's gonna pass and this is basically the same thing are we gonna try and charge the ball no we're not we're gonna think ahead a little bit he's gonna pass it down we just run past the player we already ran to the next player think ahead am I really gonna go to the ball no I'm not gonna do that if I really went to the ball all the way I would have left space uh, below me so thinking ahead is a big thing really we are charging the ball with the mid player we fail we think ahead again but now we think already right now that is gonna make that pass in a couple of seconds we select that player we track him back and again we're gonna get the ball if we keep thinking ahead the opponent is gonna get in trouble to who is he gonna pass to of course he's gonna pass it to him we saw that already thinking ahead is key it's gonna get to the ball over and over thinking ahead is defending basically are we gonna charge the ball of course not he's gonna pass it up it's obvious he's gonna pass it up are we now gonna charge the ball to more cross then no of course we didn't do that uh, either because we knew he was gonna pass it up as well and this is what happens if we keep thinking ahead Benzema trapped surrounded by all of my defenders keep thinking ahead and you're gonna get a uh, great defending for sure last section guys marking space I've told you a couple of times not always charge the ball and this time we do not charge the ball because we will leave a huge amount of space we do not leave uh, want to leave huge amount of space especially in the center of the pitch don't do that so don't charge the ball in those situations be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet my name is Suti see you next time <laughs>